All right guys, Kenny here. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to make pine needle tea and cedar tea. Uh, back in the day, whenever Mayans, Mayans would use this, use this for travelers coming in. Um, Native Americans would use this. It's a really good tea, it's good for you. So what you're gonna do is get around eight ounces of water and your pine needles. Now you're gonna wait for the water to heat up a little bit for a little bit of a boil where the bubbles are coming up and you just drop your needles in like any other tea bag if you ever use tea bags. All right guys, now we have bubbles coming up to the top of the water. I don't know if you can see it, but right now will be a good time to take some needles and start throwing them in the, throwing them in the water. It's okay if they stick out the top, that's fine. It'll still, they'll probably get wet and they'll sink down in there. And just wait around as 15 minutes or so after it comes to a good boil and then you'll have your pine needle tea. All right guys, we're at a steady boil, but in about five minutes, you wanna take out all these little pine needles and it should be good to drink. It's not gonna be that much of a discoloration like regular tea bags, but it should be like a small, light, really faded yellowish green, because that's what the pine needles are turning. But it, uh, it's high in vitamin A and a little bit of vitamin C, and it's overall good for your health, just like cedar tea. All right guys, we've already taken out the pine needles, and there's a good bit of filth floating at the bottom of ours. It should be easy just to filter out through cotton, burlap, or Maybe if you want to cut off a piece of your shirt, that would work. But uh, after you pour that out, it should be good to drink. It won't be that much of a discoloration, but the vitamins and nutrients are still in there. All right, guys, well, I'm also gonna show you how to make cedar tea. Now, this is what cedar leaves look like. Later, I'll show what a cedar tree looks like, but that's basically what the petals look like. The water, we have a couple bubbles rising to the surface, but it's not yet to a rolling boil. We do have some nastiness in it, but we'll filter it out. About five minutes or so, we should get bubbles really rushing to the top. And then that's when we'll start putting in our, I don't call these leaves, but needles, I guess. We'll put them in whenever the bubbles are coming up really rapidly. All right guys, now that we have a lot of bubbles coming up to the surface, we're gonna go ahead and drop our leaves in. Now, pine tea doesn't have that much of a discoloration, but cedar tea has a little bit more of a discoloration, so you'll be able to tell when it's done. It should get off a good scent, and then you'll get that nice vitamin A and vitamin C that you want in the tea. So we'll be back whenever it's done. All right guys, now the water is a good yellow greenish. You can see on the edges, if you can, it's a little yellow greenish. Um, let this go at it for a little, like five minutes or so, just a little bit longer. And then just take your pot off, scoop out the needles, and it's good to drink. It's rich in vitamin C mainly, so it is good for you. That's how you make cedar tea. All right guys, after you get it off the fire, it's gonna be a little, it's gonna steam a little bit, but the discoloration is gonna be a little yellow, Sort of greenish, depends on how many needles you used. Uh, yeah, that's how you make pine and cedar tea.